Good afternoon, everyone. The last video we saw was incredibly entertaining, and so I just feel very strongly that I should probably open up in a song as well. <laughs> Will you join me? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it. Great job. No rehearsal. <laughs> I think we did great, right? You know, when we learned that song as children, none of us probably knew what happiness was, right? Because there's this idea that happiness is all about pleasing ourselves. And so we grow up thinking that in order to be happy, then there are pleasures that I have to obtain. You know, is happiness a feeling? Is it a sense of enjoyment or pleasure? If that's the case, on the break, I was extremely happy with the uh, oatmeal raisin cookies that were served. <laughs> so I guess if happiness is a feeling, it's really relative because there are different things that make things that make all of us happy. I mean, think about it. Some people find happiness in material possessions. Some people find happiness in career advancements and relationships. You know, we live in a melting pot here in America where people migrate from all over the world to come here to pursue what they call happiness. As a matter of fact, in our Declaration of Independence, it says that we've all been endowed by our Creator with certain unalienable rights. And among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But what is happiness? Psychologists, philosophers, and everyday people wrestle with this question. And I believe you and I, we wrestle with this both subconsciously and consciously on a regular basis. I want to present today and submit to you that happiness, genuine happiness, is really found in making other people happy. I mean, think about it. From our estimation, with all of the evils and all of the weird things that happen in our world, there are so many unhappy people. But what if we used our voices, our influence, our resources, and our platform to present this idea that we could help others to experience happiness. One of my favorite philosophical books is by Plato and his classic work called The Republic. He talked about this idea that social justice is really a component of the happy life. In other words, when we look to meet the needs of others and serve other individuals by giving out, it actually makes us happy. And there are so many issues to address. I mean, let's be honest, homelessness, uh, drugs, violence, I mean, so many things that plague our world. And what would happen if we really took the time not to focus on our own individual happiness, but to reach for something, as Tracy said, a little bit more meaningful? And maybe that's reaching out to other people, giving a helping hand. As Rad mentioned, I'm from the Christian perspective, and there's this idea sometimes that once you meet Jesus, your life becomes happy. <laughs> well, I know a lot of miserable Christians. <laughs> and so I've discovered that once you meet Jesus, it's really not about happiness. He offers us something called joy, which is a step further. And that's my perspective. That's my experience. And I found that once we take the opportunity to reach out to other individuals, and to live a life of significance and meaningfulness and really helping to make our world a better place, that's when we really experience happiness. It's not a feeling. It's not an emotion. It's not this elusive idea that's not attainable. It's the everyday opportunities that are around us for service, for impact, and to make a difference in our world. So if you're happy and you know it, make a difference. Thank you.